What's good, Sneakerheads? Back here with another one. This one actually was surprisingly pretty easy to get after, you know, looking at everything online. And people were like, oh, I need to enter the raffle. Oh, I need to blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I entered one raffle for it and ended up hitting for it. So I was pretty surprised, but, you know, not really at the same time. Because I had pretty good luck with these people, so... Let's jump right into it. Shout out to Black Sheep. That's all you gotta say. Shout out to Black Sheep. I've said that so many times. <laughs> I love those guys. Um, because of the issue that they had with the dog walkers, check that video out. Um, they've switched everything over to uh, an app to do the raffles with. I think it's like Cop, Cop Date or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's the first time that they did it, and I hit pretty easy. And the crazy thing is they only had one size 12. Like, they literally only got one size 12. And they had a lot of people that put in for them. So, I was pretty surprised. And believe. And the only reason why I know I got they only had one size 12 is because the box is destroyed. And I was like, yo, uh, can I get another one? They are like, that's the only one we got. I was like, can I at least get a different lid? They are like, nah. Bro, that's, you know, the way it comes, so I can't really, like, you know, screw somebody else up. So, I was like, I understand, so I went ahead and copped it. Um, I mean, I was going to do it anyway. It's not like I'm going to sell them or anything. I'm going to actually, like, you know, take the paint off and all that good stuff, so might as well. So, look at this bit of destruction right here. You see that? Look at how bad this boxes this thing looks like straight up ace ventura like played soccer with this going down the hallway <laughs> crazy but come with your typical Jordan 1 box size 12 as always like the lid won't even like you see what I'm talking about <laughs> it's crazy all right so these come with this like fox wood grain kind of you know design on the outer paper then you got the inner paper and then you got this super colorful beauty right here. So you got three extra laces with it. A peach, a bright, bright, vibrant pink, a gray, and then they come with your typical black Jordan 1 laces. So, not too worried about that. <laughs> All right. So these are the Air Jordan 1 Nike SB Light Bone. Kind of, I'm not going to say a collab, but it kind of is in a way, not really. Um, these are the New York City to Paris. I'm not going to say Jordan. Jordan 1 SBs, I guess. It's really weird with this sneaker because, you know, it's a Jordan 1. It's a true Jordan 1 high. And the Jordan 1 highs are what skaters used to skate with back in the day when they first came out because it's like one of the best skate shoes. You know, it's got zoom air on the heel and the toe. Um, it's just, you know, grippier on the skateboard, more comfortable. You got the ankle support, everything. It's perfect for a skateboarder. So uh, that's kind of why they went that route with this. Now this sneaker, actually, I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. So you can get a good idea of what the shoe looks like. You don't have to look at the laces the whole time. But look at those crazy laces. Alright. So this sneaker is the first to release out of a pack of two. So like I said, this one's the New York City to Paris. And the one that everybody wants. And I personally want. And the one that's going for like the crazy amount of money. 
there's a reason for it is the uh, L.A. to Chicago. So that one's like, you know, L.A., which is purple and, you know, Los Angeles Lakers colorways uh, to the Chicago Bulls colorway. Everybody wants that shoe because when you strip it down, when you take all the paint off, um, it's an exact Chicago one. The upper is the Chicago one. That's that's the reason why I want it. I need to get two pair when they drop. This is an early release, uh, skate shops only, but they're going to release again on the sneakers app. Same thing with the LA to Chicago's. I really hope, I mean, you know, one of these is good just because the colorway is like not exactly my forte this way it is but underneath it's not so but i'm gonna do my own little thing with these no worries so and y'all see that uh but i need that second colorway just because i want to keep one you know la and then turn one into chicago ones because i don't have the chicago ones i'm not gonna really spend that much money on them and the crazy thing is if i wanted them like if i don't hit and I go to buy them just so I could have the Chicago ones. I might as well just buy the Chicago ones because they'll be cheaper if the resale stays at what they are at like $600 right now. Probably not. But yeah, you get my point. Now this sneaker features a more neutral toned upper uh, compared to the other one. And in this color colorway, it's the New York. The flipped colorway is the Paris. So, um... And the reason why they do that is because it's like a ode to New York um, and Paris basketball and skateboarding. Like the connection between the two and, you know, so. Um, but actually, before we get into, you know, the details of, the, of this sneaker, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on foot real quick to see what they look like. So let's go check that out real quick. Yeah, they actually do look good. I mean, I like I like Jordan 1s, you know? I really like Jordan 1s. But yeah, so let's get into the sneaker. Um, the bottom is your typical white outsole, which is kind of unique for these because, you know, the midsole and outsole, like the outsole is usually a color that matches the upper. So I'm surprised that the outsole is not gray. But then again, if they did that it wouldn't match when they strip the gray off. So, but this is one of the only plain midsole to outsole Jordan ones that are out right now. You know, like looking at my wall, uh, they're all different. <laughs> the outsoles are completely different. Now the upper consists of a lighter tonal gray color uh, that kind of outlines the entire sneaker. And this gray switches to a peach color that kind of matches that 
when you strip it off or when you skate and wear it off or whatever else. Um, this sneaker is one of the closest to like the Lance Mountains, you know, the black ones and the white ones that they had where you stripped them down and they uh, became like the royal ones and you know whatnot. So that's kind of where this goes, except for this is a Nike SB sneaker, which is great, you know. Um, and then you have a white leather in the toe box and the side panel that stays white. That doesn't strip off at all. So, which makes even more reason why they went ahead and left that because that's the only color that doesn't disappear. And the most vibrant out of all of them, this black swoosh and black ankle collar and this little black bit right here and also on the inside um, strips off to be a very vibrant pink color like that. So once you strip everything off, it's just like, wow, there's the inside of it. And then you also have a insole that's a very, very bright pink color with uh, Nike SB branding on it and Nike SB branding on the tongue as well. Um, you know, the fact that they, you know, took it back and they actually took a Jordan 1 that not only has the Wings Jordan 1 logo on it, but flipped it and instead of doing the Nike Air, did the Nike SB on the tongue, like... Come on, you know, you've got to have, like, if you're a true collector, you've got to get this sneaker. And personally, like, I, you know, if the, if the leather really wasn't that good, I probably would have passed on it because, like I said, this colorway is not really for me. But the leather quality on this is actually pretty good. You know, like, if it was 1 out of 10, 5 being your typical Jordan 1 leather... This would probably be like a 6.5, you know, out of 10. Uh, Shattered backboards being like 9 out of 10. Um, so, I mean, the quality leather is actually pretty good. Um, it's It can't be the best only because it's a two-tone leather where you, you're going to strip off the outer layer. So if it was too soft, it was just, you know, the leather would just disintegrate when you put the alcohol on it or when you did a kick flip or whatever else. So it's got to have a little bit of stiffness to it to be able to withstand that. But, um, other than that, I mean, this is a Jordan one. Everything about it is a Jordan one. There's really no difference. It's got the SB branding on it. So taking it old school, you know, so I'm not going to strip the paint off on this one. I'm not sure if it's going to be like the other dunks that I had where you got to really work at it to do it or if it's going to be like the Janowskis that I have where you just got to take a cotton swab with a little bit of alcohol and go once over and it comes off. So I don't really want to get into that right now. I mean, it's like two in the morning. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. Uh, did you cop these sneakers? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about them? Which one's your favorite out of the uh, pack? You know, these, the Paris or the uh, LA to Chicago, you know? I mean, everybody's going to go for those. These you could, I mean, if you missed, you could cop these for just like 40 bucks above retail right now. And when the drop happens on the 25th, the wider release, they're probably going to go down to retail. So, never know. They might shoot up, who knows? But I won't be able to get rid of them if I do. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it though. So, uh, but yeah, I'll catch on the next one. Stay safe and have a good one. Peace.